Hi everyone, Colin here and welcome back. Today's video is a conversation about bacteria and germs. And are you going to have a healthier, cleaner aquarium with less bacteria? Or can you have a cleaner, healthier aquarium with in fact more beneficial bacteria? And that depends. So the way you structure your aquarium, you're either going to be doing one of those two things, making it more or making it less. And I guess the important thing to remember with everything about your aquarium is the Goldilocks zone, and that is never to have too little and never to have too much of anything. With bacteria, there's a hygiene hypothesis, and that is that if you have less exposure to germs when you're younger, you are more likely to have more and more allergies and problems in later life. So can you sterilize your way to good health? That's being discussed at the moment right around the Western world. In aquarium keeping, it's quite normal for many fish breeders and discus keepers to have as clean, clean a tank as they possibly can. Less waste equals lower levels of bacteria. They still use bacteria, and those bacteria live in their filter media. And it's very important they have some bacteria working. Meanwhile, in planted tanks, they have a lot more bacteria going on. They've got a lot of decaying organic matter, which is going to stay in that tank and it needs to decompose. So they have to harness those organisms to keep that extra waste healthy and in a natural state of decay, where it's not toxic. And it's just like farming, where the soil is very fertile and very rich and healthy. In nature, nature normally um, decomposes everything. And uh, all the life forms eventually decay and they make way for new life. So bacteria can be beneficial and it's important to get the conditions such that beneficial bacteria are dominant. In other conditions, you can get uh, other things which are very, very dangerous and very harmful. So it's important to know what it is that good bacteria are like and avoid the things which the bad life forms are encouraged to grow. Fish, when they're exposed to germs, can be stronger with a stronger immune system. Having survived problems, fish in the future become stronger and become more immune to problems later on. There was a video which I saw which was quite distressing from Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. I'll put a link down below. And she was faced with a dilemma where she had a tank with a lot of illness with a number of dying fish. And she was at a point where she wanted to end the suffering, stop the problem and euthanize a lot of otherwise um, still alive, vigorous fish for the fear of spreading disease later on and that these fish might become carriers in the future and in essence all life forms after surviving disease are stronger for it with a stronger immune system so those animals are the ones you'd want to keep not the ones you'd want to let go but the question is in everything that we do are we wanting to have more bacteria to be more healthy or are we trying to reduce the number of bacteria to be healthy and that really is the choice that you must face which way are you heading thanks for watching hope your tanks are going well and the best of luck with them